Brooke. Um, I don't even know what day it is. Like we are on this mandatory stay home and it's been so long since I've been around people. I'm just enjoying the beautiful day outside in the yard and decided I wanted to make another video and just really get some thoughts out. I have been on my spiritual journey for a good 10 years now and really the last two years honing in on my gifts and what God blessed me with when I was born. A year and a half ago, started seeing repeating numbers and instantly started looking them up and I'm like, oh my gosh, twin flame, started my twin flame journey, which then led me to my inner child journey and brings us to today. Everything that I've been through prepared me for this moment right here, right now. Everyone was saying on my journey, as above, so below. And I had a hard time figuring out what exactly does that mean, as above, so below. Hold on, we got a tractor coming by. Don't you just love being in the country? <laughs> And everybody waves. <laughs> I've been in the city so long I forgot what it was like to be out in the middle of nowhere. So I started seeing 1111 11 everywhere. Went on my inner child journey, twin flame journey. And in the process, discovered how magical we all really are. Like it's all within us. It's all within us. And of course, on my journey... I started discovering the more toxins I removed from my body, the greater my gifts were, the easier it was to connect with my higher self, the easier it was to not live in fear, which is happening everywhere. You turn on the news, it's nothing but fear. And it breaks my heart because I'm a truther. I want the truth. I want to see the truth. I want to know the truth. And that's not even half of what's going on. Everybody says that this is a spiritual battle, and it is. Hands down, it is a spiritual battle. We are fighting for heaven and hell, literally, on this earth. And I pray every day to wake up my friends, to wake up people I've worked with, to wake up everybody. I want to wake up everybody, but I can't because nobody wants to see me. Nobody wants to see the truth. Nobody wants to see the truth. And the truth is nasty. It's ugly and it hurts. You know, on my journey, I have met some pretty amazing people, pretty amazing people. Um, my Reiki master, Katie Van Zillen, amazing angelic woman phenomenal. I love her with all my heart. She is totally a gift from above. Um, also, you know, friends on YouTube that I've connected with in the last six to eight months as I really started digging into understanding my gifts and learning how to work with them and diving into my astrology and understanding the planets and my houses and how they affect me and what my mission is. And I had been given the information all along. I just had no idea until the world stopped. Once the world stopped and I was able to get into me, remove myself from the city, remove myself from everyone, I was able to see the big picture of what's really going on. My intentions for making these videos is to help somebody that is also like me, searching for the truth, that wants to see the truth, that wants to shine the light where there is darkness, who wants to save the children. I mean, 
been about the children all along. So, it all started searching for love, right? I'm 38 years old. I have twin boys that are 14. Just this last August, they decided they wanted, you know, they're going through puberty. They wanted to spend some time with that. And I thought that it was really the best thing for them. I'm not a man. I have no idea what's going on going through puberty. I don't know how to guide them on this next part of their journey. And I felt that it was best that they have their dad do that. I mean, he's been there. He knows. I have no clue. And I'm not going to try to pretend like I do because I don't, clearly. I was forced then to really... In August, to look and say, okay, what am I really here to do? My job as a mother, I've done my part to this point. I have really, you know, led my children on a spiritual battle or a spiritual journey with me. Um, we pray every day. I show them every day that God is with us. Angels are protecting us. And all you got to do is ask. I brought church into our home. And... I feel like that's what we're all supposed to do. So on my spiritual journey, I start trying to figure out, okay, what is the right thing to believe? What is the right Bible to follow? And how can there be so many different religions and there's only one way? How is this? Well, going on my journey, I was able to be shown why. Um, I was able to be shown my gifts and I was able to be where I was meant to be at the right moment, at the right time. Nothing is coincidence. Everything happens the way it's meant to. Everything. Ah. Did you hear that? The birds. Kind of makes you wonder what they're talking about. <laughs> you know? I think about that. I wonder if they're singing for joy. You know? If you were a bird, what would you be singing about? needed to take a moment and just really enjoy this right here and I feel like that's what God is wanting everybody to do is to stop and smell the roses we have all got wrapped up in this rat race of go to school go to college get a job put money back for retirement retire at now what 70 <laughs> I mean that's your whole life and now we need people that have trades hello what what are we gonna do we can't even run our country we can't even run our country we need you know American jobs we need American Oh, and I don't even want to get into the political side of all of this, but maybe we should. I mean, we need to be able to sustain everything that we need. Look at everything that's been taken away. It's all gone. And what's important? Jobs, food, family. You know, it is a world that... It is a world that we have to have money to make it go round. It doesn't have to be the root of all evil. Which it can be sometimes. It really can be. Well.
thank you for joining in and listening to me. I'm going to pop off real quick, but I will be uploading another video soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.